uh, still here in southern uh, Ethiopia, and this is uh, in front of a, of a group of colleagues uh, and farmers who, together with VITA and funding via the Food Security Unit, have reconstructed, among uh, many other smaller uh, issues, uh, the, the pond we see and the bridge, the water bridge we see here in the back, uh, helping, as I was told, to uh, easily irrigate an additional 400 uh, hectares. You're mainly producing what? Yeah, maize, uh, maize, banana, vegetables. Yeah, and I've, st I've, I've also heard that you have started exporting uh, part of the bananas banana, through your cooperative yeah, yes, activities. Yes. Where to? <coughs> Saudi Arabia. We are uh, undertaken the food facility project uh, and uh, we supported uh, farmers to improve uh, crop production and productivity by providing them uh, improved seed uh, training, the necessary training, and then the irrigation, creating irrigation access, uh, like rehabilitating such kind of irrigation scheme. With the support of this project, uh, a lot of farmers, especially in this area with this simple structure, uh, around uh, 600 farmers were benefited and 450 hectares is uh, irrigated. And uh, these are the farmers who, who are witness of this uh, achievement. Yeah. So what are the next steps here, gentlemen, farmers? What are your next the steps, ne next, next initiatives? Steps, the next step uh, with the share uh, uh, scheme, we, we need to uh, create uh, you know, sustainable resilience uh, project activities based on the achievements we have got from the EU Food Facility Project and the, the IFS. So we are uh, studying and then we need to expand these best achievement activities of the projects. Well, Solomon and others, thank you very much.